In the video we will explain you the most important elements of the Global Atlas client. IRENA, the International Renewable Agency, was established in January 2009 with the mandate to increase the deployment of renewable energy across the world. In pursuit of this mandate, one of the activities of IRENA is to provide information on renewable energy potentials. For this purpose, IRENA is developing a global atlas for solar and wind energy. The web-based platform provides a solar and wind data and analysis tools with global coverage, supporting policy formulation, planning and stimulating investment in pre-feasibility studies for wind and solar projects. In your browser enter the web URL www.irena.org slash global atlas select the section map interface let me explain to you the major elements of this web-based client the heart of the client is a map interface on the top of the screen you can find a main menu and the logo bar below the main menu is the information bar which shows user information on the right and map information on the left in the middle of the information bar you can find a map toolbar. The overall initiative is implemented through a large international consortium operated by IRENA, in partnership with the Multilateral Solar and Wind Working Group under the Clean Energy Ministerial. Contributing countries form the steering committee of the initiative, and involve their national institute in this large international program. On the bottom of the screen you can find all logos of the organizations contributing to this initiative. On the left side of the screen you can see a right arrow. Clicking on the arrow will open a layer tree. Each layer contains information that you can visualize on the central map. On the right side of the screen you can see an arrow to the left. Clicking the arrow will open a window which shows legend information. On top of the legend window you can find tools and services. In addition you see legend information to the active displayed layers if available. To hide the window just click on the arrow again. Let's take a closer look to the layer tree. The layer tree is divided in two areas. We have on top the command menu icons. We have four command menu icons. From the left, the first one is for map menu. You find map functions like creating, opening, editing maps. The current opened map is shown in the information bar right above the data layer tree. Currently we see the default map of the Global Atlas client. The second icon is for the layer menu. Adding layer groups, open the data browser or add layer from a web address. The third icon is for editing the current map settings. The fourth icon is for saving commands. Save the current changes in the map, saving the map under a new name. And below the command menu icons is a list of layer groups. You can also say categories. Under the groups you see a list of data layers. A large number of layers can be loaded from the data catalog. Over the time more and more data layers will be made available. Other renewable energy technologies will be addressed in the Global Atlas in the future. In the default map, Global Solar and Wind Atlas, all data layers are listed under the following categories. Base maps, concentrated solar, solar photovoltaics, wind energy, infrastructures or protected areas. The user can edit the categories and save its preferences as a new map project. Each layer group has on the left side a checkbox. Activating the checkbox would display all data layers of the group on the map. On the right side of the layer group and data layers you can find a small arrow. Clicking on this arrow opens the edit menu for layers. Highlighted data layers, in orange, are the active displayed data layer. In our sample two data layers are active, world countries by Google Maps and Google Satellite Map. Let's see a sample of a solar DNA data layer. By hovering over the data layer name detail information will be displayed. In our example we select, multiple countries 40 kilometers by NREL. Let's take a look at some additional functions on the map. The web client uses standard map functions. You find on the right upper corner standard zooming features. On the lower left corner you can modify the units of measurement. On the lower right corner you can select predefined scales. Here is a quick summary to the overview of the Global Atlas Client. This finalizes the tutorial overview of the Global Atlas Client.